Yeah, so we did see some more snow move in for those in the Southern Valley and down in, uh, in Hankinson where the Dakota Magic Casino is. We can see that nice blanket of snow there as the wind is blowing for folks down there. Now, here is a look at some of those more recent snow totals. We did update you with those yesterday, but we've had another round of snow since, since then. Sisseton seeing about 2.2 inches, Jamestown another 2 inches on top of that snow that they saw yesterday morning, and Abercrombie saw a nice 4.5 inches of snow just from that wave that came in overnight. Now we are seeing temperatures in the negative still here in Fargo at negative 5 degrees, and that wind is making it feel like negative 18 degrees, and there's not much on the radar. We saw some clouds move across the border by Langdon there, but those have all moved along. Those temperatures are still very chilly despite those clear skies. We are seeing those negatives for much of the valley, though Lakes Country holding on to those positives as long as they can. Wadena sitting at 7 degrees, Grand Forks negative 7, as well as Devil's Lake. Halleck, though, our cold spot sitting at negative 17, and their wind chill is also at negative 17, but Langdon right next door sitting at negative 30 degrees. Those negatives continuing all the way down into the Southern Valley. And as we look through the afternoon and into the evening, we're going to see those temperatures rise just a little bit. Pay attention to these pink numbers which are the wind chill numbers and those are still going to be pretty chilly and as we move on throughout the afternoon we're going to see that nice southerly breeze and that's what's going to help us warm up just slightly though those wind chills are still going to be pretty chilly. Langdon sitting at one negative one degree at about 10 o'clock tonight though their wind chill sitting at negative 25 is still a pretty dangerous wind chill. Now by tomorrow morning we're going to see everybody in the positives though those wind chills are still going to be pretty chilly. Positive, uh, positive single digits for most folks, though in the south we're seeing temperatures right around 10 degrees. As we move toward your lunch hour, everybody's above zero, and those wind chills are starting to become above zero as well, as we'll hang on to those clear skies for much of the day. Now, out west, those temperatures will be in the low teens, while in the east, the temperatures will be in the upper teens, or even some 20s up on the board by tomorrow evening, about 5.30 as you're on your way home. Now, as we move on into the uh, evening hours after that sun sets, we're going to see everybody above zero again, and those clouds will help us stay warm overnight as they act kind of like a blanket. So we are warming up, though it's still going to be pretty chilly. Now, tomorrow afternoon will start out chilly, but by afternoon we'll see those temperatures right around 20 degrees for a lot of folks in the north, some teens for folks there. Now here in Fargo, we'll start at about 3 degrees and work our way up to a nice 21 thanks to those clear skies. And take a look at Randy here. He got a rock stuck on his nose thanks to the triple dog dare that someone dared him. And those cold temperatures are going to continue for this next week. But we do see those temperatures hit 30 by the weekend. And we have a couple chances of snow on Monday and on Tuesday. That one seems to be a little bit more significant, but we're still a ways out, so we'll keep you posted on that. Definitely. I'm so glad that there is a warm up. This weather just oh, today has been freezing cold. Just walk, trying to walk to the building, no less than 50 feet away. My hands were just mm -hmm, completely sure. freezing on the way. So I'm very excited for a warm up, as I'm sure a lot of people <laughs> are as well. Jim. Thank you so much. Well, coming up after the break, the demand for antiviral medication has gone up significantly. Learn how these medications can help you if you are sick with the flu.